What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Today we have another statue unboxing and review for you. This is the new Black Panther from Sideshow Collectibles as part of their Avengers Assemble line. This is a one-fifth scale line. Just came out. They made a thousand of these, uh, which has a retail price of $420. Let's go ahead and get them out the box and check it out. All right, here's the art box. As you can see, it has kind of the Avengers logo on it. Yeah, Avengers Assemble on the side. So you have that kind of uh, Black Panther version of the Avengers logo. Nice, compact, thin box. Let's go ahead and get him out the box. All right, so we only have a couple of pieces going in here. You have a base, a body, uh, a head sculpt, and an arm. All right, I like this uh, kind of concrete base. It's got a traffic uh, signal light here. You can see the bottom of the base. This is number 298 out of 1,000. All right, and then here we have the Black Panther, the body. I like how the foot has part of the ground with the keyhole and peg on the bottom. That's gonna blend in real nice for uh, little to no seams. Okay, he does have a staff as well. Oh, with the other arm, nice. Okay. You have his other arm here, very nice. And it comes with the head sculpt. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and set the base down first. Let's go ahead and key T'Challa into the base. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get his right arm in with the spear. All right, and did I say right arm or left arm? Here's the right arm. Boom. Lastly, we have that head sculpt. And there you have it. All right, now we're getting in nice and tight on the Black Panther. What's cool about this piece is we're giving this away. This was donated to the channel by Collector Zone. Get in the zone. Collector Zone is a brick and mortar retail store and they also are an online shop which deals in statues. They are licensed to carry Sideshow, NECA, Mezco, Hot Toys, and more. And they donated this to the channel so that we can do a giveaway for you guys. So, first of all, I want to talk to you about Collector Zone. What you want to do is check out their Facebook group called the Collector Zone Cantina. Now, Marco is going to greet you right away, and his whole approach to these online sales is to give you a personalized experience when it comes to collecting. So if you're a collector who doesn't have time to scour Facebook groups or YouTube videos or uh, check every email you get from Sideshow or whoever, he will post his new in-stock items and he'll even build a rapport with you to kind of get with what you like and he'll hit you up anytime something comes up that might be to your liking. He has great prices and he's a cool dude. We appreciate you uh, donating this to the channel. All you guys have to do to enter for this giveaway is just be subscribed to this channel and comment down below. And we'll do a live drawing uh, next Sunday when we do one of our streaming shows. So with that being said, let's jump into the review. First of all, like I said, this is from the Avengers Assemble line. It's a slightly smaller scale than a premium format. It's one-fifth scale where those premium formats that I typically unbox are one-fourth or quarter scale. So from the base to T'Challa's head is just shy of 15 inches. To the highest point is this staff, which is just about 17 and a quarter inches tall. So it still has a little bit of height to him with that uh, spear. If I'm looking at width, or actually depth, I should say, is about 15 inches. And the width, I guess we gotta go to the spear as well. You're looking at about 12. This is, wow, like the fifth or sixth of this line already. They have Captain America, Hulk, they have Thor. I think they also have Ant-Man and Wasp. I'll put pictures up for the ones that they do have. So very cool to see them continuing with this line. This would also pair up really well with the uh, Wolverine vs. Hulk diorama because that's one-fifth scale as well. But it's a really well-detailed piece just like any premium format. I mean, looking at the base, I love the sculpt. I love how it's got this rocky base on the bottom with this concrete on top. You can tell he's in the streets. It's probably during the Battle of New York or something. Like I said, you got this traffic sign stoplight here. Uh, you have the rebar coming out. That's always a nice touch to give it some realism. And I really like what they did with not just putting the peg in his foot. And they actually 
made this chunk of concrete a part of the the body so that it doesn't have I don't know weight balancing issues or leaning issues. It's really secured in there. I really like the sculpt on T'Challa. I like the design choice because I'm a comic book guy. I tend to like the comic stuff more than the movie stuff. And he is definitely more comic than movie. But it has some modernization as well. So let's take a look at that. For one, he's got different textures in the body. He has kind of a striped boot look here. Which, by the way, has great weathering on the bottom of the shoes. With a nice design to the bottom of those shoes as well. And you see a different texture here. You have more of a... Not a honeycomb texture. What do you call that? Yeah, I guess it is honeycomb. Whereas it's smoother here. And you have a lot of different line work going into the back. Separating the textures from smooth to uh, that honeycomb look. I think uh, w when you have gauntlets, it's so nice because you can hide those seams as well. And I like how Sideshow decided to still include the spikes here. So that the spikes go over the arm where it keys in. And it really uh, makes that seam invisible the gauntlets are more of the same kind of paint and texture as the boots and of course he's got his signature uh, vibranium claws there awesome right arm it's got that staff like I mentioned which has a ton of detail it's got like a wooden look to it and I like the detail I like the gold emblem surrounding the blade there it's got a nice design to it it looks like uh, Wakandian it looks great I like how they gave him his necklace with his with his kind of panther skull uh, charm there. And his mask reminds me very much so of his comic book look. Kind of like a hooded look. Got the little spiked ears. And uh, yeah, overall, awesome statue. If you guys don't have a lot of space to collect those one-third scale, those one-fourth scales, this is a dope little line that you can really make a nice diorama out of. Uh, price point on a little bit of, on the lower end compared to maquettes and the to premium formats. I mentioned it's four hundred and twenty dollars. Like I said, they made a thousand of these. Uh, it's shipping, so if you're sitting around in quarantine like me, if you're watching this during this time, you know you're probably doing some online shopping. But um, yeah, man, Black Panther uh, first appeared in Fantastic Four fifty two. So he's been around since the fifty uh, since the sixties in uh, in the Fantastic Four. Became a huge success with his solo movie as part of the MCU. I think it did over a billion dollars. Uh, Wakanda Forever is now a household term. Uh, as well as T'Challa, the king of Wakanda. Alright guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that gem to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the statue review, hit the uh, playlist for all the other statue unboxing and reviews that we've done on the channel. Plus remember to comment on this video so that you're entered into the giveaway. Stay minty fresh. Peace.